Hey everyone, well to my channel, I hope you've been doing well. Today's video is going to be all about my designer black handbags and I noticed that a bunch of other YouTubers have been doing this kind of video lately and I figured I would just hop on the trend because I haven't done one of these collection videos in a while. I have done a black handbag collection video but I know that I've sold a few off since then and for the sake of this video too, I'm actually not gonna do any of my non-designer handbags. So this will be just my designer handbags this time around. So yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna try to go and group it by brand. So hopefully this works out the way that I envision it too. And the first bag I'm gonna start with is Christian Dior. It's my only black bag from Christian Dior. I do have some other bags from them, but they are not in the color black. And this one is the Medium Lady Dior in the supple calfskin. And I purchased this off a of fashion file. I feel like this was a seasonal style from maybe the late 2010s. I'm actually not quite sure when this bag came out. I know they have come out with this iteration with the grained leather, but I haven't actually felt the leather myself and I don't know if the new version is as supple as this one is. So this one is kind of pliable and you can see that while it is structured, it's not as rigid as the other Lady Dior's that are in that lambskin are. And I do have one, I have a video comparing the two, which I will link to that in case you missed it. But this one I really like. It is a little bit on the bigger side, but I love the top handle. I love the fact that this comes with a thick strap. So here is the thick guitar strap and it just makes carrying this bag very, very comfortable. And even though this is a bag that's a little bit on the larger side and it is a little bit boxy, which I feel like for some people, they might not like wearing that style crossbody. I feel like because this is a little bit more supple, a little bit more pliable, it actually doesn't look bad. And also because it is black, it is a little bit more slimmer and doesn't look as bulky as maybe another bag of this size would. So yeah, those are just kind of my theories on why even though this is a slightly boxier bag, a little bit on the bigger side, it doesn't really feel like it overwhelms me or looks bad crossbody on my frame. Next is the Loewe tea pouch and this is a great little pouch for travel but I have used this as a clutch a few times. I really like the fact that the anagram is kind of all over but it kind of creates this like really nice embossed look to the bag and just kind of gives it a little bit of texture and yeah I like that this is kind of like a little bit more of a casual clutch. I've used it maybe like at work like I will slip this into my work bag and then if I kind of have like a happy hour or something to go to I will just leave my work bag at work, go out with this, put my wallet, some cash in here and my phone, and then come back to the office to grab my bag and then head home. So that's kind of like the most recent way I've used this, but you can also use this pouch in a variety of different ways. You know, it would just be great to kind of keep some toiletries in. It also fits my iPad mini as well as my Kindle. So this has been great for airplane trips as well. So this one is definitely a little bit versatile and I just like how unique this is. Next, we have the beautiful Mini Arco from Bottega Veneta, and I actually was thinking about selling this bag, but what I ended up doing actually was I sold my Palm Springs Mini instead because I felt like these were two bags that were the bags that I use the most when the weather is bad or if it's a little bit rainy, just because the water wipes off so easily and I wouldn't have to worry about it. And for the Palm Springs Mini, I felt like I really love that bag on other people, but for some reason, I just wasn't reaching for it. I did use it a lot during the more rainy days we had in SF, but I figured I didn't need both bags. So I went ahead and sold that one and I decided that I'm gonna keep this one just because I do feel like this one's a little bit more versatile for my personal style in the sense that this one I could take out to a date night, nice dinner, um, but I could also just wear it a little bit more casually if needed to. And it fits a similar amount to the Palm Springs Mini. And I also just love this patent leather. It is this like really smooth matte gloss. I don't know if that makes sense at all. And I know the sun is coming out, so it's kind of making it even more shinier, but it's just, I don't know. It's just so lovely. It's just this like very glossy sheen, but it's not shiny like in your face that's reflective if that makes sense so i just think this is a lovely bag it's a little underrated i don't even think Bottega carries a style anymore so i'm really happy that i got it when i did i also bought this in europe at the airport and got a great deal on it especially considering i got taxed back and i was paying european prices so um yeah really really happy about this one and do you think i'll be keeping this one for a little bit longer too Next, we have the Mew Mew pocket bag in Napa leather in black. And I just did a video review on this, so I will link to that in case you missed it. But yeah, I really love this bag and I just love the vibes and it's just very casual and carefree. The next bag is the Hermes Arsan bag, and here it is. I also recently just did a review on this, and I've actually been wearing this quite a lot. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I post a few bag of the 
day stories and this bag has been featured quite a lot recently and yeah just really really love this it's such a great weekend bag and it's also very carefree and i just love the way that this one looks next i have two of my ysl bags and this is the 507 bag in the mock croc which i absolutely love this is like the perfect little date night bag you can just fit your card holder your keys your lipstick a phone and you're good to go and i just love this mock croc leather i think it is so beautiful and yeah i just think this is a really really nice bag and this is the chevron pouch and this is really great for travel because it packs flat but it's deceptively roomy for the size of it i'm always surprised at how much i can fit into this little pouch and this is probably the one i take for travel the most just because of how flat it is and how easy it is to pack. I personally feel like as much as I love handbags, I hate packing handbags because they're bulky, they take up a lot of space, and you know, you just have like clothes and toiletries and shoes and other things that you need to carry with you. So personally, I always find it a pain to pack a handbag with me, but this one is one that usually comes with me on my trips. So yeah, this is just a really, really great little pouch. And I love that you can use it as a clutch, but it does have this little wristlet feature as well. So you can hook it on your wrist for more security too. Here is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the Emprunt Noir. And this is the bag that kind of started it all for me. This is the bag that I feel like started my YouTube channel. I was, I remember when this bag was re released and everyone was going crazy about it. And that was really when I started di deep diving into YouTube and watching other people's videos and watching other people's reviews and kind of using YouTube to do a lot of research for the luxury purchases that I was gonna make. And this is a bag that kind of inspired me to start my own channel. My old videos, I really cringe at because I really did not know what I was doing. Definitely not saying that I know what I'm doing now, but my old videos were not edited. They were very unpolished. And yeah, I think I've just learned a lot since I got this bag. So but this is also kind of symbolic in the sense that I do feel like this is the bag that kind of started my YouTube journey. I did take this to New York. I thought this was a great bag for New York just because it went with all my outfits and it was a good wintertime bag and I like the fact that it was a very comfortable crossbody carry. So yeah, this is just a really great functional crossbody bag. All right, I know the light is coming in and out. I'm trying to play with it, but just bear with me. So this is my vintage Chanel Diana. We're going to the Chanel territory now and I think we're gonna end here. I love this bag. This is a bag I found in Japan for less than $3,000 and Diana's go for such a premium these days. This is a smaller version. There is a bigger size and I absolutely love this bag. I think this and the Iridescent Beige Classic Flap are probably my two favorite Chanel bags I have in my collection and probably bags that I would probably never consider letting go of, especially for the price that I got this at. I just don't think I'd be able to find this at such a good deal. It did, it does have some scratches. It does have some like dents at the very bottom, but honestly, these do not bother me. And for the age and for the condition of this bag, I believe I got this out of steel. So I am very, very happy about it. I love how versatile it is. I love that it can be dressed up and dressed down. I love that it also can be worn crossbody. And this is just probably one of my favorite bags. Here is my Chanel reissue in the 226 size. And this is the medium because they have a 227 size and a 225 size. And I really, really love this. I think this is a great, if you know, you know bag. I love carrying this out when I need just a few more items, but I'm going somewhere where I don't really wanna carry a super in your face designer bag. And yeah, I just feel like this is a very beautiful ladylike bag. It's not for everybody. I know there are some people who really don't like this kind of aged calfskin look, but I really like it. I also just love how durable this bag is. And yeah, this one is also one that I got from Fashion File a while ago. Here is my Chanel Classic Flap in the medium size. And this bag is, oh my gosh, 11 years old, I think. Yeah, I believe this bag is 11 years old. This was probably my first designer handbag that I got that I basically scrimped and saved for. And I really, I mean, I remember like I had such a low paying job back then and I was just putting, I was just putting every extra dollar into my Chanel fund at the end of the month. And yeah, I feel like this bag definitely has some sentimental value to me just because of how hard I worked to get this bag. and. That I feel like I don't wanna let go of just because I was so young back then. And this is just a symbol of a goal being accomplished, if that makes sense. I will say that I don't think classic flaps are worth the price now. And 
I don't really feel that I would consider getting one again unless I got it at a really great deal pre-loved. I feel like I'm pretty good on the Chanel Classic Flap train. I know that I would, you know, the colors, they have so many other pretty colors. Like I'd love to get a pink one or a light blue one, but honestly, like I just, with the price, it's just too hard for me to justify. So I'm pretty happy with the two that I have, this one and the iridescent beige. So very happy I have this, but also wouldn't be purchasing one new these days, if that makes sense. Here is my Chanel Jumbo, and this is in the single flap. So it is much lighter. I did purchase this pre-owned off a of fashion file a couple years ago, and I love how much this bag can fit, and I just love the classic look of it. I personally don't think I would buy a double flap jumbo, and I'm just really happy that I was able to score a single flap one uh, pre-loved. I also like the fact that it has the silver hardware just because I feel like that makes it slightly more casual, and I could take this on trips, but it, it's also nice enough where I feel pretty good wearing this out to a nice dinner too. And I love that this bag can transition very well from day to night. You can make it a little bit more casual for the daytime, but then you can also take it out to dinner. So yeah, that is about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this enjoyable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would also subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. And with that, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.